Hey everybody, boys, last speaker for us. Welcome to the weekly tech deals for the commodity dollars for Aussie dollar, dollar cat, and Kiwi dollar for August 12th to August 16th, 2019. And a big story in the calm dollar land this week was the reversal at the end of the week, the dollar's weakness against all the risk currencies, especially against the Aussie. Big, big turn there, but also a pretty decent turn against dollar cat as well, with Kiwi being the laggard because of the uh, RBNZ rate cut. But overall, the levels have sort of evened out with Aussie support at 66.50 and now a move all the way up to 69 even possible with CAD showing that very strong resistance at 133.50 uh, and with Kiwi still showing that support at 63.50. This is the post RBNZ lows and the resistance at 66. Now, the calendar is very, very tepid this week. We don't have much on the uh, on a docket. As a matter of fact, really only one significant calm dollar event, which is the Australian employment data, where we are actually negative. Um, the Aussie data because services construction uh, employment weakened but manufacturing improved that tends to be um, generally uh, a weaker than expected number um, out of that and aside from that you really see nothing it's uh, it's a clear end of uh, summer summer doldrums type of a calendar with nothing much going on but looking at the charts there's quite a lot of interesting action here so here's the Aussie and this is really this is the trade against which I think everybody on, on the charts is looking at this this massive pin bar against which now we have the potential to move all the way out to the 6920 uh, SMA still a negative trend but as you can see it's essentially almost a double bottom formation now if this breaks to the downside all bets are off and then Aussie could, could certainly move those 65 64s but until uh, until we see that the consolidation here certainly opens up the scope here for a move towards the 69s um, uh, on a short covering basis with dollar cad the story let me get rid of this i'm sorry uh, uh the story here is the clear rejection of the 133.50 level very very clean clear rejection and even friday's reversal move here off of very negative data that's bullish canadian dollar ne a negative dollar cad opens up the scope at least to the towards the test of 31.50 on the smas uh to the downside perhaps even a little bit more uh but for now that's the top of the range against which you trade um, and essentially 131, 30, 50 is the uh, bottom of the range of where you're, gonna, you're going to find support in dollar cat. And then last but not least, uh, let me just remove this also. Uh, here's Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar very, very significantly extended off the SMA. So certainly to the downside. Here also, you're essentially trading against this uh, swing low. So this is the, the very, very... Uh, intense swing low on the RBNZ, surprise RBNZ rate cut. But the interesting thing is that that comes very much at the end of a relatively large downward swing. So how much more extension we're going to get uh, from this piece of news remains to be seen. And if the longer we stay here uh, with uh, the lows staying intact, the more likely we have a chance here to move back up towards the 65s, possibly even the 66s, just to uh, meet the SMAs. So that's sort of where the, uh, the calm dollars uh, land this week. They're very clean, clear patterns of where the bottoms are, uh, and it's seemingly a, a, a short covering move here across the whole calm dollar complex as we enter the week. Wish you guys the best of luck, the best trading. Borch Schlossberg, over and out.